Setting up your first hosting account. Purchasing a decent hosting account will be one of the first tasks you have when starting an internet business. This is where you will host your domains. Without hosting, your domains will not be of much use. There are many dozens of hosting companies available, but you need to choose carefully. Hosting your domains at a company with overcrowded or overloaded servers and shoddy support could quickly kill your business. If you're really serious about building a lasting internet business, you should absolutely choose a hosting company that offers cPanel. In this video, I will not get into a discussion of the value that cPanel adds to your business except to suggest that working without it will be a major hindrance. Many of us here at the Locusware Group have chosen Ho6 as our hosting company. They have proven to have the best support many of us longtime internet marketers have found. Their servers are not overloaded and provide fast loading times even for our largest websites. And because they are a professional company, all of their hosting accounts include cPanel. I'm using the Ho6 hosting for demonstration in this video, but most hosting companies will be similar in the way you open your account. Go to the hosting company that you've chosen to join and look for and click on the shared link. On this page, you should find a list of the hosting packages that they offer. Notice that all of these packages include cPanel and the prices are very reasonable. Now for this video, I'm going to choose the advanced option at $7 a month. Click on the select plan button. On this page, you'll need to choose a domain as the basic domain for the package. You can register a new domain with this company or transfer a domain from another registrar or use an existing domain and update your name servers at the original registrar. Now this is the one I'll choose for this video. Click the continue button. On this page, type in or paste the domain name you're going to use, and in the next box, put the domain extension, the .com, .info, .xyz, whatever it happens to be, then click continue. On this page, confirm you are buying the right package, in this case, the $7 package. If everything looks okay to you, then click continue. On this page, you'll fill in some standard information and choose a password. This is standard stuff, so I won't demonstrate it and fill in the boxes here. If you have a promotional discount code, paste that in and validate it. If not, leave it blank and then choose your payment method. Shortly after paying for your package, you'll receive an email with the information needed to log into your account. And the information will look like this. There'll be a control panel URL, which is actually an IP address, or if your domain is already propagated, you can simply type in your domain.com colon 2082. Then use your username and password that you chose when you opened the account, and you'll be logged into your cPanel. This is what your cPanel looks like. And as you scroll through it, you can see all the features you have available to you with cPanel. Now, the first item you'll most likely be interested in is adding additional domains to your account. To add an additional domain, click the Add on Domains button. Type in or paste the domain name you're adding to your account. Then click in the subdomain box and it will automatically fill in the next two boxes. There's a button for creating an F2P account, which we'll cover in another video. Now click the Add Domain button. You can add subdomains the same way. Click the subdomain button in the cPanel and then type in the prefix you want for your subdomain. Then click on the domain root box to fill it in. and then click Create. You'll get a notice that the subdomain was created and you're finished. 
You now have to go to the registrar where you purchased the domain you used to set up this account and change the name servers to the name servers you received in your welcome email from the hosting company. I explained how to do this in the first domain video if you need any help. Now you have your first hosting account activated and you're ready to begin building your business. If you have any questions regarding this process, be sure to stop into the Locust Word Online group and the members or support staff there will answer your questions quickly. If you'd like more information about Host60 hosting packages, click the link below this video.